Like, I'm sure you've been in the studio with them, been to meetings with them, shows with them, in the process of you working on your music. So what was something that you learned? Like, it could be a life lesson. It could be something you've seen you don't want to happen. Like, you know? So you've seen them have a lot of haters, I guess. Yeah. What they go do with me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles in the frowns. Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd. Take up a dick, could he die with his knock? If that was me with a dump, that'd be shot. Smoking nowhere and yelling with Diddy. Oh, I can't be who running the city. Catch a old and we make him get jiggy. Like spin through the T's, gonna throw him like 50. Hey guys, we're on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest. <laughs> what does that mean? Explain to me what that means. Jack you or clap you? You need to know jack what I'm doing or? Oh, it's up? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, how'd you get into music? When I was younger, my older brother was rapping all the time. I got older, got older, started going to the studio with him. Then I just went in my room one day and just wrote a song. Wrote a song. What was the first song you wrote? You remember it? You dropped it? Well, yeah. the first song you recorded. You dropped it? It was me, my brother, my sister, and my brother friend. So your brother still rap? Yeah. Okay. Um, so when did you start taking it serious though? When when we dropped PSA. Okay. That's when I so you started taking music serious at that time? So not even no more no, I was parties. Taking it serious, but like, Remember that stuff? I, that's why I matured and just know like, I got my lane now. So you life. found your sound on yeah. PSA? All right, so, 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 like, did you always know music was your thing, or was you like really influenced from family, or like? Nah, yeah, I was really influenced from family. But you was gonna do what? If it was a music, like what? I was like, I was playing basketball and shit. I wasn't thinking about music at first. So music came in from family and stuff. Yeah. So I'm sure you've seen all your friends do music, D thing, Nay, and everybody. Yeah. Um. How was that, like, I know, I'm sure that was motivating, you know, seeing your friends going up and shit like that. So, like, what's some lessons you learned? Because when they was when they was just starting, you wasn't really starting or you was just about to start. So, what was some lessons you learned, like, while watching them? Like, I'm sure you've been in the studio with them, been to meetings with them, shows with them, in the process of you working on your music. So, what was something that you learned, like? It could be a life lesson. It could be something you've seen you don't want to happen. Like, you know? Don't hate. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I learned. Don't so you've seen them have a lot of haters, I guess? Yeah, that's shit. Just don't hate. At all. I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna say, because y'all three, y'all seem like y'all super, super support each other. So, like, let's say, like, if some, like, how, what's some tips you would give on, like, how to support your friends, I guess? Cause I feel like support is very. Like, like when they having a moment where they just like saying fuck everything, you gotta be there. Like, so being. Uh, we gotta keep going and shit. Being there through the bad times and then like how do and then like how do you feel like that they motivate you? What you mean? How do your friends do you think they motivate you? Like. like what I just said that they do that. Like, when I, so they there at your bad I times too. I don't wanna do this shit. Like, I don't care about this shit. Be telling me nah, man. Though, you gotta. Keep going up, going up, going crazy and shit. Yeah, so when people say you're going up, like, what does going up look like for you? Like, because I know even people always say, bando up next, bando up next. What does that look like to you, being next? Or being going up, like, what does that look like? You're going crazy, like, everything. Like, like numbers, you, streams. Numbers, everything. So is um, numbers and streams important to y'all? Because, you know, y'all putting up crazy numbers right now. It's only really important to us because, like, it's organic. It's nothing. It's no, no label help. Behind. There's nothing behind this. It's straight facts. So it's literally all y'all. So that's why it's, like, super, super important. Yeah. I was going to say, so when y'all was coming out, you and your friends, y'all was talking hot and stuff, do you feel like you had to, like, keep that, I guess, momentum going, being that so many people was coming for RPT? <laughs> you feel like you had to hold it down. So like um so like what like have you ever heard your name in the song? Yeah, all the time. 
all the time. <laughs> I was gonna say like, what was the first? I don't want to say the first song, but like when he was like, nah, because I know it's not. You don't go to the studio purposely to diss people, right? So it's like you had to hear a song to get you amped up. Like, nah, it's about that time. So what's? Not the song, but I'm saying, like, what song was that song where it was like, it's about that time? Was it PSA? Oh, oh yeah. Where you had to PSA. come back? I ain't gonna have to show <laughs> Okay. Okay, so, how do you know, like, when someone's a fan of you, like, for your music? Like, comment, they, like, they comment on all my, like, uh, shit on Instagram and shit, YouTube. I believe I watch that, so I be seeing, seeing mm-hmm. people all the time, all the time. I'm not saying they text grim, me, but... they DM me, I got like, like, <laughs> I was gonna say because people say it's hard to tell fans from dick riders. You, you just by the, by the way, like what they saying, like, the way that they commenting and yeah. supporting and stuff. That's how you know. I was gonna say like, um, where do you feel like most of your fans come from? You feel like a lot of them for the city, or you see them from other places? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. At first, I thought it was coming from the city, but then, like, when I really started paying attention to my comments, my YouTube comments, I really see it's all over the world. You know? That's all over right now. Okay. All right, I'm about to say, do you feel like you're going to keep this in people, or you feel like you're going to switch up soon? Because you were talking hot, bro. Well, I see. I mean, I got songs in the cut, and I switched up, but I just feel like when I post, like, when I do trailers and stuff to songs like that, like Children and stuff to your other songs? So, so, okay. So you feel like the fans want you to be disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so, but you do plan, you do, you do plan on switching up though. I was going to say like, um, do you feel like that's going to like stop the money in the long run? Nah, hell no. That's going to really show them like, ah, yeah. Like if you keep being disrespectful, you don't think that's going to stop bread? So, do you think that the hip hop police is real? Yeah. Yeah. So, if you was able to just make music and you could never do a show, you'll be okay with that? No. That's what I'm saying. So, I feel like with the disrespectful shit, that's when the hip hop cops come around. So, like, what, mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Like, what does that mean? Like, I feel like they're gonna stop y'all from doing shows. That's stopping bread. So, you feel like that's unavoidable. Like, what you gotta do is what you gotta do. Type shit. Oh, okay. So yeah. So you're on the radar. Freestyle with Gabe went up. Honey K plus views. Then you made a song. Was it? Was that the plan to make that a song? So you just saw it going up on YouTube, and you was like, I "Gotta shoot this, or I gotta record this." Yeah, you, you just uh, what made me, what made me do certain songs like, like I had to like, <laughs> heard my name on some wax shit. So okay. I, I'm showing you this now, and I did that for that. Like, I personally did that for you, but I never did nothing else. Like, after I saw it start going crazy, I said, "Alright, now I'm gonna do a whole song." Okay, but that wasn't the initial plan to drop no. that as a song. I'm about to say, a lot of fans are saying that you're consistently dropping now. What does consistently dropping looks like? I feel like you got to drop once a week? Because, I don't know, people think that's a thing, dropping once a week and shit. I'm dropping consistent now. Cause like before, everybody was saying, like, all right, if they're going to be consistent, he going he gonna to get more recognition and shit. Mm-hmm. So I, just gave, I just gave my fans what they wanted. I'm about to say, but what does consistent look like to you? Like, you say you got to drop at least once drop a month, twice a month? You got to drop. You gotta drop more than once, twice, three times a month. Three times a month? No, you gotta drop more than that. More than three times yeah. a month? You yeah. think that's consistent? You feel like fans keeping up with that shit? Yeah. Dropping three times a month? With the vids too, or just tracks? Some for, some got videos, some just on all platforms. Okay. All right, so you, you're not signed, right? Are you signed? No. I was gonna say, okay, so um, what's your favorite part of being an artist like is it the studio or is it like shooting music videos, videos. <laughs> <That's hard. laughs> so sometimes it could be the studio too like the whole gang in the studio the videos like, for the most part what makes the videos so fun just look at them <laughs> everybody just good vibes 
I'm about to say, like, y'all be going crazy with the dance moves. The dance moves, y'all shit too? I just feel like, how, how, y'all gotta do a tutorial on how to do some of these moves. Or that just be the vibe or the energy that there. That's just us. Regular? On so y'all be teed up on the regular? Okay. So how do you go about picking your beats in the studio, though? So, like, or you have to, like... I, you got, I just go to my Gmail. Most producers, they just send me beats to my Gmail, and I just go with that. So you don't go on YouTube and look for shit? No, not no more. You don't look up, like, bando-type beats? Yeah, sometimes. I, you know, I, don't be, I don't be really, like, I just... Gmail, I know automatically I'm going to like something. Yeah. YouTube is not a hundred percent. Mm, so do you think you found like a producer that fits you or Yeah. Yeah? Like who? Who? Elvis. Elvis is that nigga right yeah. now. I was say how you text texting? Just be like, yo, I need this. Like hour or two, probably next day. I'm about to say, so you was picking out your samples. Yeah. You picked the how I'm feeling simple? No. Oh, that was just like Wait, wait, wait. This he said yeah, send it to me. And I ain't do it. But like I knew like like feelings, like I get a feeling. That's how I was feeling. <laughs> when I was when I was that's how I was feeling. Okay. So And then um and then so you said they pick they send you beats and stuff like that. So how do you feel about the whole sample shit right now? Uh, it's going crazy. It's going crazy. How long do you think this shit gonna last though? How long we want it to last. Mm, so is it like you need a sample beat right now to lock in, or you trying to do original tracks on the side too? Cause I feel like y'all sample shit is going crazy. Yeah, as of right now the mm -hmm. sample, so I'm just I'm gonna ride the sample beat wave out to for me. Okay, so you been working on a project? Maybe more singles. Yeah, more singles right now. I'm about to say, will we ever get an RPT tape? Yeah. 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 Confirming yeah. this. I'm not gonna. I can't tell you when, but yeah. <laughs> so definitely confirm. So y'all been like planning, like wanted to do one, or you think like the timing just got to be right? Nah, yeah, like, we did. We see, like we we see everybody keep asking for it, keep asking for it. So like, yeah, it's so our idea that we got. Like, it's, in a tuck. It's in the air. It's in the air. Heard it. I about to say. So this year you was nominated on Tucker Town Awards, Most Improved, Rookie of the Year. Mm -hmm. You feel like those fit you? You sure? Yeah. Cause niggas had the coming got crazy. What other category, Bando? What other category you feel like you? Why do you want to be in that category? That's just, that's just who I like. That's who I am. That's you want I'm people to know you as a disrespectful yeah. nigga? Um, yeah, they, they just know it. I'm, but I feel like people feel like you're improved. I feel like niggas. I feel, remember a lot of people that's not from the city don't even know about that stuff. So a lot of your fans, like you said, that's tapped yeah. in from other places, don't really know. So. I feel like I rookie, watch, watch bro. <laughs> Cause y'all be yelling people's names. <laughs> nah, but but yeah, I feel like you improved this year. You don't feel like you improved this year? A lot. And I feel like you know you've been holding it down. You feel like you rookie status. You feel like we was missing anybody? Cause I about to say a lot of people from your side rapping now. I feel like we missing people. No. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, y'all missing a lot of people. I know, one of y'all friends is mad. I ain't gonna lie. One of y'all friends is mad. <laughs> <laughs> Which But yeah, you ever got a co sign or somebody posted you that surprised you? Or you saw somebody in your likes or your story views that was tapped in that surprised you? Like, no, not yet. Do. Or you don't be checking that stuff? I do, but like, I ain't gonna lie, my story views and shit, they get like 2,000 people. Who got time to really score? <laughs> I'm about to say, because ain't this like your second page? Yeah. So how your page got deleted? Yeah, wow. People was reporting you, so you think? I don't know. I was going to say, what do you feel like is your biggest accomplishment this year? Biggest accomplishment? Five million views? Um, yeah, five million total facts. <laughs> Everybody's saying that's the New York who I smoke. Yeah. New York who I smoke type shit, type shit, yeah. But yeah, you said the consistency? Yeah. For sure. I'm gonna say, and what should your fans look forward to 2022? I ain't gonna lie. I'm just about to go crazy. Go crazy? Back to back, drop watch. Y'all gonna 
Let's see though. What's your um what's your favorite song that you have out right now? Cause that was really how I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> and what song do you feel like is most slept on? Most slept on? That's out right now. Now you're unreleased. Every Ocean. Why do you feel like that song slept on? A lot of... Cause I went, I went crazy on that. I should. Like, it's regular, like, regular. I'm about to say, what's like expected? Like you expect to get like 100K, like that's right? Now, I want to say so. Um, so how do you feel about like when your songs get leaked though? I feel like that don't happen to you a lot, but yeah. I see that happening. I ain't gonna lie, some it could be good and bad at the same time. Yeah. Like, yeah, it could be good and bad at the same time. I'm gonna say like, so do you like keep your shits in the tuck now? Yeah. You're not sending out checks no more. I was gonna say, and like, what motivates you to like keep going, like keep going to the studio? My man, I ain't gonna lie. I should be waking up, people like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, the studio from this time that, damn, I just woke up. Like, <laughs> automatically, what I gotta do is to wake up. Like, but say, so how did you pick your manager? Like, how'd you know that you wanted this to be a manager? Like, you know, we've been working together for like, for some time now, so like, yeah. In the beginning, like, yeah, it was ups and downs and shit, but it was regular. I was all, gonna, all managers and artists, ups and downs. Yeah. I was going to say, so, like, what is what do you think are some, like, key qualities to have in a manager, like, as an upcoming artist? You got to have a manager on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, the manager, be on the artist, but the artist mm-hmm. got to be on the manager, too, sometimes. Yeah, and I was, was going to both ways. Yeah, and I was going to say, what's, what do you feel like is the hardest part about me Upcoming artists in New York City at that. It's, it's mad of us. It's mad. It's mad. Upcoming artists. Is that annoying that it's a lot of y'all? No, because I don't fall in the same category with niggas. Yeah, I'm about to say, so what do you think makes you stand out? I don't know. I'm just different. What does that mean? I'm not like everybody else. I do what I want. I say what I want. Okay. So you feel like that's how you stand out from everybody else? Yeah. And um, are we gonna get a project twenty twenty two, like from you, Dolly? Y'all, y'all gonna get a project for sure. For sure, you got any plans, like any crazy drops for the new year? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I got some shit. It's, it's I'm about to say y'all be previewing music on live all day. Got yeah, I got more than that, more than what the people Maybe seen. How many songs? How many songs do you think you got in the tuck right now? A lot. Email full type shit. Okay. So, like, if people wanted to... You doing features right now? Or are you going to hold it down? I'm I'm fake focusing on solo drops right now. Okay. Yeah, feature here and there, but I'm mainly focusing on... I'm about to say, because you did a feature with the Pop Lottie boy. Yeah. Was that, yeah, like, your friend? Yeah. I ain't going like that. Wait, like, his block. Mm-hmm. When I was young, I used to live with it. So. Oh, okay. I knew, I knew him already. Yeah, and then stuck in my ways going up too. Yeah, keep rushing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was a good song. I feel like that's a slept on song. What do you feel like is your most slept on song? You said every other shot, but you think you got another yeah, one? I stuck in my ways too. That's yeah. Slept on. Yeah, that's a fact. So um, so what should we look forward to top of the year? Let the people know. What should we look forward to? What are we about to see? I can look forward to just the solo drops. I think the last one I'm just about to go crazy with the drops. Yeah, non stop. Non stop. Okay. Every other day they're going to be like, oh, band will drop another song today. <laughs> All right, so tell people where to find you, where to find your music. You can find me on Instagram at Bando PTs. Go, go to my YouTube channel at Bando PTs. See all my music. That's where all my music gonna be going. My uh, Apple Music, Bando G's. That's where my music gonna be going to. <laughs>